For those of you that don't know or maybe just don't even remember, we almost got multiple Marvel animated series that would have led up to The Offenders, which would have been a team-up series connecting each of the animated series. And as you can see here, this was our first look at it. This was like two or three years ago when we first got this news. It was going to be consisting of MODOK, Howard the Duck, Hitmonkey, Tigra, and Dazzler. And they were all going to get their own individual shows, except Tigra and Dazzler, I think, was a team-up series. And then they were going to be all coming together in one as The Offenders. But when Kevin Feige officially took over Marvel and became not only the president of Marvel Studios, but just basically the president of Marvel in general, uh, he scrapped this along with pretty much everything else that was not part of the MCU so he could keep that main continuity going so that things wouldn't get confusing. And the only projects that still ended up going forward were just the ones that were too far into production that was pretty much just too late. Like, for example, MODOK, which of course released earlier this year in May. So, I thought that the rest of them were scrapped. I thought we weren't getting How the Duck, we weren't getting Tigra and Dazzler, and we weren't getting Hit and Monkey, and that's true for the most part, except not for Hit Monkey, because apparently Hit Monkey not only is still happening, but it comes out in two months. So that's pretty crazy because first of all, I forgot it was one of these shows being developed here, and also I'm, I I had no idea it was still happening, but it is, and we just got our first official look at the Hitmonkey animated series for Hulu. So, Entertainment Weekly just shared this first look image at Hitmonkey. It's going to be coming to Hulu on November 17th, the whole season, I believe, and we have our first look here, and... I think it looks really cool because this is very different from the MODOK series. The MODOK series was a stop motion robot chicken type animation style, whereas this is full on regular animation. Almost, I, I, I don't think I'd call it anime, but you know, like more along those lines. Uh, and I think it looks really cool. Like you have Hitmonkey right in front and center here, and then you've got in the background Bryce, because for those of you who don't know much about Hitmonkey, which I don't really know too much about him, but basically. He's this monkey that um, gets, a, I guess you could say, adopted by this hitman, and his name is Bryce. Uh, but Bryce ends up dying, and then basically his monkey decides to follow in his footsteps and become a hitman, and Bryce helps him on this journey as his ghost. So that is Bryce, the ghost of uh, Bryce. Uh, it's it's Hit Monkey's owner, basically, and he's actually going to be voiced by Jason Sudeikis, so that's pretty cool. And yeah, so it's a crazy ninja assassin monkey that talks to ghosts, uh, which honestly works pretty well for a Hulu animated series. So I, again, I forgot this was happening, but apparently it is, and I'm kind of excited for this. I still don't have Hulu, so I'm not going to watch it, but you know, when we do get a trailer, I'll probably do a, a video on it, and I'm excited to find out more about this, because it definitely looks really, really interesting, but Anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about this news and this first look at Hitmonkey? Are you excited for this series? Did you completely forget about this just like I am? And again, it's coming to Hulu November 17th, so it's right around the corner. And definitely expect a trailer within the next few weeks. But for now, guys, thanks so much for watching. Please drop a like if you enjoyed this video. And hit the subscribe button so I can keep up to date on everything goes on in the Marvel life.